Hey, I'm Alex, and today we're going to see, solve the second problem from PSET0 from CS50's introduction to programming with Python. So it's called playback speed, and it's a relatively easy and short problem, so this video is probably going to be just a couple of minutes. Let's read the description first, and then we'll start writing some code. So some people have a habit of lecturing, speaking rather quickly, by the way, I am one of them. And it's and it will be nice to slow them down a la YouTube's 0.75 playback speed, or even by having them pause between words. In a file called playback.py, implement a program in Python that prompts the user for input and then outputs the same input, replacing each space with three periods. So here's a demo we can watch. We run the file, we enter a message, we can notice that every space is actually replaced with three periods. So that's our um, goal for this problem. Let's begin by creating a new directory as we did in the previous video. So we're already inside of our PSET0 tutorial directory and I can create a new one for this particular problem. So mkdir, which means make a directory um, playback, that's the name of the directory. Now we can go inside of it with cd playback. So change the directory to playback. And we can create a new file using code and then the name of the file. So playback. And don't forget the extension, which is going to indicate that we're going to use Python. Uh, so playback.py. We're done with this, so we're ready to start writing some code. First, we want to um, prompt the user for some kind of a message or a quote from the lecture he's listening to or whatever. I'm just going to call it a message um, for the purpose of this tutorial. So message. And now we have to give it some va value. How can we do this? Well, we can use the input function, right? Input. And then we can write some, like, write a prompt to the user to um, help them understand what we are expecting to receive. So in this case, we're expecting to receive some kind of a message or a quote. And we can just say message, um, colon, and that's pretty much it. So the user is going to enter something. And once they do, we are going to store it inside of this message variable. And once we have it, what can we do to replace each space with um, three periods? All right, so it's actually very simple. We can just create a new variable, which is going to be called delayed message or something like that, right? Because we're kind of delaying it using uh, 0.75 playback speed or using three periods. So it can say delayed message equals the message we do use, which these are entered right here on, on line one. And then we can use a method called replace. So this method receives two parameters. The first one is the string we're looking for. So in this case, what do we want to replace? Well, we want to replace every space, right? So I'm using quotes and inside of them, I just have one space. And then we, we use a comma and then we have our second argument, which is what we want to replace the string with. So in this case, we want to replace the empty, like the, the space with three periods, right? So that's it. We're saying go to this message that the user has entered and replace every space with three periods. So now if we come here and try printing delayed message, delayed message, we should be able to see the correct result. Let's test it. Here we have how to test and we can take this string this is CS50. We can come back and run python um, playback.py. Once we do, we are prompted to enter a message and we can see the correct result. We see this three periods is three periods CS50. 
Let's directly run check 50, although I encourage you to test all the other inputs. Uh, I'm just, I just believe this is a very simple problem. It's just three lines of code. Uh, it can be less as well, but I believe this solution is the optimal, um, or at least for beginners. So let's just run CS50 and hope that we'll pass all of the tests. All right, and we can see that we all the tests are green, which means that we have passed them successfully. So that was everything for this video. I hope you've liked it and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial.